Hey, today I'm going to show you how to make a pinwheel block. There's an accommodating blog post with lots of different sizes to make this block in. It's available on a PDF and you can download it for free. A big tip first. Anytime that you're making triangles, starch your fabric before you ever cut them. That makes um, half square triangles lay flatter and makes them way better than it would be without it. it. Starch makes your fabric a little bit more crisp. It's easier to cut and it warps a lot less. Um, a pinwheel starts out with half square triangles. So I'm not going to um, show you how to make half square triangles in this video because I have a video tutorial separate for that, but I will, um, I will let you watch me work through it. So I'm going to get these sewn together and then we'll go from there. Okay, you're seeing me um, press these seams open. This is very, very important um, when making a pinwheel, especially, it's, it, to me it's important even when you're making half square triangles, but when you're making a pinwheel, it's especially important. All of these seams down the middle are gonna meet smack dab in the middle of your pinwheel block. So take the time and press those seams open. Don't skip it and then, and then always starch. Um, and just in case you're new to half square triangles, notice that I didn't take my iron and do this. That warps half square triangles. So it's just up and down, up and down, just like this. So now that we've got our four half square triangles, we're gonna put them, and you can do this. Your pattern should tell you about how to do this. So in some patterns, it doesn't matter which color goes where, and some patterns it does. So make sure you're reading your pattern when you do this. And then, okay, so if I'm putting this color here, on the next block, it goes here. On the next block, it goes here, and then boom. So the color is boom, skip one, boom, skip one, boom, skip one, boom, if that makes sense. <laughs> All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna sew this together, and I'm gonna sew this together. All right, so I've got my two rows sewn, and what I'm gonna do now is just press this seam. Um, and then one seam of the row needs to go this way and the other row needs to go that way. So this seam will do this way. So, and I'm just gonna press. And then on this seam, I'll press it this way. And again, I'm not raking that iron over the fabric. I am just up and down. All right, so this one is gonna flip down. And since you alternated the seam direction when you pressed your rows, these seams should nest all nice and neat right there and then just butt up together and kiss. And that's what you're wanting. You're gonna take a pin and you're gonna slip it right into your stitch line and pin. And now we will sew right across here. So all sewn. And then I'm going to press to set this seam as well. And I didn't mention this before, but just doing this just helps your seam um, go in the direction that you want it to go a little bit easier. So that's why I always set my seam. And on this seam, we're going to press it open. Don't skip this. Press it open because this will give you a nicer, flatter pinwheel and you won't have this big um, bump in the middle. Pinwheel, pinwheels are notorious for having this big, huge bump. Ow, I burnt myself. And um, by doing this, you're lessening what that bump is. So there is our pinwheel. It's still got a slight bump, but it's way less than it would have been had I not pressed my seams open. All right, and then I'm just gonna spray it with some starch again, and then um, press. And then we have one nice little 
pinwheel. Okay, you may think that that was a really, really fussy with all my press in seams. Um, if you aren't somebody who gets um, fussy about how their blocks look, how the, how the points line up, then you could probably just skip everything that I just said and just go for it. But if you're somebody who's wondering why are my blocks not coming out the right size, why are my blocks, um, the, the seams aren't ma matching up nicely, um, everything, all the fussy steps I did ensure a more proper pinwheel block. But you know, if this is just something you're doing for fun and you don't want to worry about it, don't worry about it. I'm just telling you this because I get a lot of questions about stuff like this, so I want to make sure I include it. One last thing I want to include before I say goodbye, when we made our half square triangles before I trimmed them down, I used a scant quarter inch when I sewed them. But when I sewed all these pieces together, when I sewed my rows together, and when I sewed these two rows together, I didn't use a scant quarter inch. I used an almost complete quarter inch seam. And I haven't been talking about that much in my video tutorials, but since I've been getting a lot more questions about stuff like that, I'm gonna try to start including it a little bit more. So if I have to trim something down, I'm using a scant quarter inch. When I don't have to trim down, I'm using a almost complete quarter inch seam. So that's it. Thanks.